It was slanderous. It was embarrassing. Brownsville attorney Veronica Farias has been in practice for over 20 years, but she says since running for office for the 138th District Court judge seat, people are no longer flocking to her door. And she blames one man for that, her opponent and current district judge Arturo Nelson. She claims as the election this past summer got heated, Nelson resorted to, quote, digging up the dead and bringing to light cases from 2008 and 2011 that Farias was named in, but were expunged, which means they are not just dismissed, they are obliterated, erased, non-existent. A court will find that it never occurred because there was no merit. Farias claims Judge Nelson knowingly used information that had been expunged to move ahead in the polls and keep his seat as district judge. She says he published the information in local newspapers and sent out flyers to hundreds of homes. She is suing him for slander. I do plan to conduct some de depositions and find out basically the person that worked with Arturo Nelson in disseminating this information. Now, as far as it going through and being approved by the candidate, it must be approved by the candidate. Farias is suing for $3.3 million in damages. She says it's 300000 for personal damages and the $3 million because Nelson abused his position as district judge. Now, when a district judge violates that law, he and of himself, to gain a personal advantage over somebody because of a political campaign, that's total disregard of the law, of the law that he in and of himself is supposed to purport.